Broadmoor, the world's most notorious high-secure psychiatric hospital, home to some of the country's most infamous offenders. For the first time, and after years of negotiation, Broadmoor has allowed our cameras in to meet its patients and show what really goes on behind these walls. Can you confirm that gives you four there, please, over? I shudder at a lot of the things that I've done in life and, and the bad mistakes and opportunities that I've missed. For a second, I just remember bang, hearing bang, and, and my finger pulling the trigger. It's the worst, worst experience I've ever had. Baltimore's actually been my lifeline, because obviously, you know, when I was in prison, I was given six months to live, and I'm here 13 years later. I thought, oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to the funny farm. I said, oh, no, mate. I knew I was coming. I had a feeling I was coming here. Men are sent to Broadmoor because they are suffering from serious mental disorders and many have committed violent crimes. They are considered too dangerous to be treated anywhere else. Many think that Broadmoor is simply the dumping ground for society's most notorious criminals, a final destination with no hope of return. Shall we move on? He's here because of the attempted murder of his mother, not terribly bright. A weekly ward meeting gives a summary of the kind of men who are kept here. The last thing he did um, was he took his MP3 player and took bits of uh, took the wire from it and a, a ring, a metal ring from it, and tied it round his genitalia. And he did that in the middle of the night, and it was only when he was in real pain that he managed to tell the member of staff. And it's not really clear why he did it. Jailed? Good man. In prison, it became clear that there was something wrong with this guy. Broadmoor is home to 200 men, each carefully assigned to one of 15 wards, depending on their mental state. Oh, what's there to say about him? He's 33, index offence of murder. He's got extreme kind of borderline personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder. He's in this hospital because in a medium secure unit, he sharpened the handle of a toothbrush and tried to stab a member of staff in the face. Patients' identities have been protected at the hospital's request. Cranfield is the intensive care ward for the hospital's most acutely mentally ill patients. The men here are unpredictable and violent, and the simple act of serving meals has to be carefully tailored to the individual. You all right? Chicken run. Yeah? Don't tell him. No, he's here. Give him a chance. Yeah, for this year. Chicken schnitzel. Thank you. I didn't throw it. What? I didn't throw it. Three days on the trot. <laughs> Thank you. One of the biggest misconceptions, I think, is that those that have severe mental illnesses or those that end up in a place like Broadmoor are kind of destined to, to, to be unwell forever or to be risky forever, and that simply isn't true. The mental disorders that we treat are very amenable to treatment. It's hard to believe that men, locked up like caged tigers and only ever allowed out one by one, can ever progress. But each ward in Broadmoor is a staging post to their recovery. Who's breakfast, mate? Breakfast time on Epsom, a high dependency ward. The risk here is a little lower. That's hot, that is, mate. Have you bought your meds yet? Oh, well, they'll be coming in a minute. Okay. All right, mate? Patients here are allowed out to associate with each other, with plenty of staff in attendance. You can get out, man. Oh, yeah. You coming out? Yeah. Is coming out? Yeah, you can come out. Yeah. Come on. Uh, come out, yeah. Yeah. Right. Tell me what you want to do. Pull your trousers up. Pull your trousers up, yeah. You need to wear trousers like Simon Cole, up to the waist. <laughs> Belted. When did you last clean your rooms? Leanne McGee is the hospital's director. 
Whenever she can, she comes back to the floor. I love being on the wards. I love seeing the patients. I'm a nurse. You never lose the... This is where you want to be, really. You just have butter in the end. Just butter? Yeah. And your day goes much quicker. It's better spending it with people that you're being paid to look after than sitting at a desk. You know, which sometimes seems somewhat meaningless. But there we are. Mm -hmm. Right, I hope that's uh, OK, Trevor. Yeah, fine. We're coming to your breakfast, mate. I think there's a difference.